So before I begin this chapter, this review of this chapter, I just want to ask you guys one quick important question. Team Onodara or Team Chitoge? <laughs> um, I'm all for Team Onodara, she's just... <clears throat> but let's jump in. So, Nisuko chapter 159. Uh, so in the last chapter, near the end, Shu asked Raku an important question of who he likes. Chitoge or Onodara, and so this is just basically a continuing of the Chitoge Retrieval arc. Obviously, that's what I'm going to call it now. Obviously, coming into this chapter, I expected um, Ch Raku to dodge the question and deny it, and I wanted to see some signs that he still likes. Then, no, that he likes Chitoge, but he barely flinched when denying it, and although his face was red, but you, but all, but yeah, I did expect him to deny it and ultimately that's what he did and he told Shu that he still likes Onodara and that it should be obvious he still likes Onodara and as fun as and as a fan of that relationship I was happy to see that uh, but reading this chapter I can already tell I can obviously already tell what direction Naoshi Gomi is taking this manga and that that is Raku's gonna end up with Raku's gonna end up with Chitoge so expect many potential storylines in that direction I'd say maybe 100 to 200 chapters worth of storytelling before that goes stale. Now I can't help but stress this enough. Main characters of harems are complete morons. Like, Raku, even though he's a fake boyfriend of Chitoge, he still should take good care of her. I mean, she's a walking Victoria's Secret model. She's a bombshell. Like, he's a nice guy and he should be able to know and take care of her. Chitoge is upset that she's moving. And Raku, even though he's a fake boyfriend, as nice as, get, as a guy he, as he is, he should really realize when to embrace a girl and not have another person tell him to do so because he's a nice guy and Chitoge is a walking bombshell. He should realize that. And she's upset, so she, you gotta take care of your Victoria Sukha model girlfriend. Like, I mean, who wouldn't take care of, good care of Chitoge? Come on, guys. But, uh, in which in this chapter, Onodara tells him to do so because Chidoge is upset. She tells him to embrace uh, Chidoge, which was stupid on her part because if you love someone, when you love someone, then you don't just tell that person to go to your rival. So as cute as Onodara is, she is way too innocent and plain stupid at times. So Ruri, Ruri Miyamoto is right. I mean, she is one of the smartest characters in this manga. But Raku listens to Onora and embraces Chitoge and and she comes up with a daring plan to live with each other so she can be protected by the Shui group and allowed to stay in Japan. But from what but this is where I'm gonna contradict from what I said earlier. Four Eyes, our friend Claude, put a bug, basically a tracking device, on Chitoge in the previous chapter. So he basically um he basically heard overheard everything. But this is basically speculation because we saw a shadowy figure at the end of the chapter. Now, so that means that maybe Chitoge will not end up with Raku, but this is all speculation. Now, assuming that's Claude, then Chitoge and Raku's plans might fail. It's great to see Raku agree with this plan. In a way, it kind of shows you that he likes her, but he said friend, but I think he will come to the realization uh, like Chito Chitoge before and admit and maybe even confess to Chitoge that he loves her. So that leaves me with two theories. Assuming... Assuming Claude did overhear their plan, then Chitoge is obviously going to move back to America. And you can kiss those 200 chapters worth of storytelling away. But if Claude didn't hear anything, then I think Raku would admit to himself that he likes Chitoge and maybe even confessed. And, I mean, them living together has got to mean something, right? But, but I want to hear your guys' overall thoughts of this chapter. And who do you think that mysterious man was at the end of the chapter? You know, the one sitting on the chair. Um... But that's all I have for this review. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or anything I had to say, go ahead and drop me a like. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you could kind of be so kind, subscribe to this ch to my channel as well if you haven't already. That would be amazing. I'm Kevin Ambrose. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys later.